Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 22-year-old male with history of a prior injury. The injury became infected, and it went on to form osteomyelitis, which is an infection of bone. So this is a view here where you can see the knee up high. This is the tibial shaft coming down, and right over here in the distal shaft, we see a defect within the cortex. The cortex is the black line, and the white is the medullary cavity filled with fatty marrow. We can see here that there's a defect right within that cortex and over the top of it there's gray tissue as periostitis, inflammation or infection in the periostium overlying the top of it and we see the darkness within the marrow. Now in this view fat will be dark and fluid will be bright so anything inflammatory or has, that has fluid will be bright. This band of brightness here is abnormal. We see the cortical defect. We see fluid signal that's bright we should see the black cortex and we see the now the marrow edema how extensive it is so fluid within the bone which we call marrow edema goes all the way from here all the way down to the end to the ankle joint so they have this destructive bone lesion related to osteomyelitis we can see the periosteum is uplifted by that infection and we see that marrow edema now we're going to do a short axis view through this to look at it this is slicing right through it we're going to try to find it and right there they put a marker in the skin there are two bones. This is the fibula, the little bone. The big bone is the tibia. And you can see that cortex, the black line, the thick bone around the rim, the compact cortical bone, has a hole right within it there. And you can see the gray signal over the top, which is the periosteum is elevated and infected. So this is back in October. Now we're going to jump to the present, which is January, so just a few months have passed. And we see that the a bone has a larger defect here, so that cortex has a larger hole within it, and we see the marrow should be bright like the fibula, while the tibia has this dark marrow, so there's bone infection, osteomyelitis, with the destruction of the cortex, elevation of the periosteum, and we also see that the subcutaneous fat, this bright rind, right here, they lose the fat, so this is called a skin ulceration, so this is weeping out into the uh, through a hole in the skin here. So this is a typical example of osteomyelitis. Going back to the original skin, we see really prominent um, inflammation over the bone surface, and there's that cortical defect. This is the original one, and now here's the current one. So we see the bone defect lar is larger, but the periosteum is not quite as elevated, so it looks like it is improved in the interval. There's that little skin ulceration there. These can go on to get a pathologic fracture which means there's a fracture because the bone is weak, there's an underlying condition. But um, despite the large size of this, there is still no pathologic fracture. There's that bony defect in the cortex, there's the outer cortex, and there's the bone lesion. Now here's the original one here, we see the prominent edema going down. Now we're going to go to the new one. We see that things have definitely improved. The meridema is largely resolved. Some of this here uh, may be packing. Sometimes they're going to remove the bone and just pack it. That would explain why the margins are so well defined. But we can see that the inflammatory changes around the outer margin are improved. So overall it has improved, but not healed yet. And this is just an x-ray that goes along with it. Here is the defect. There's a side view there, so you don't really see it as well on x-ray. You can see that there's a problem, but MRI is a, a much better uh, detail. Anyway, thank you very much.